Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That. Today we're going to be testing out different marbling sizes and more specifically we're going to be testing out the three variations of carrageenan powder. Now this is the traditional powder or one of the traditional powders that you use for marbling. If you don't know what marbling is, it's a printmaking technique where you can create very interesting abstract designs and it's very, very easy to do. All you need to do is make up a marbling size, which consists of the carrageenan powder and water. And then you pour it into a tray once it's all dissolved. And then you can put paints or inks on the surface and you can play around with them and they interact differently. Then you can just lay a sheet of paper on top and you get these really, really interesting patterns. So before I started actually doing some test prints myself, I did a lot of research into the ingredients because there are many different ways that you can do marbling. I wanted to do it the traditional way just purely because I usually like to do things properly. And I discovered that there are essentially three different types of carrageenan powder. Now, carrageenan powder is a seaweed. In its powdered form, when you mix it with water, it makes kind of like a like a jelly paste. The three different types of, of grade of carrageenan powder create different types of pastes. And Lambda, which is this one, this is the one I've, I use for my test prints, this is the preferred grade of carrageenan. And it also happens to be the most expensive. And this is why I wanted to test the two other grades of carrageenan. So we've got carrageenan kappa, and we've also got carrageenan iota. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix them up with water. We're gonna use the exact same measurements for all three, the exact same amount of water. We're gonna mix them up into paste, and then we're gonna let them dissolve into slightly more water. The common recipe that you will see is one tablespoon of carrageenan powder with one liter of water. It's preferred that you use cold water, preferably distilled water, I'm not doing that, I'm just using regular tap water that is cold. From my previous experiment, it takes about four to six hours to let it dissolve into a nice, consistent, slimy paste. You're trying to make the consistency of wallpaper paste. If anyone has done wallpaper in before, you'll know that that kind of like runny glue kind of texture to it. The cost of these grades of powders is very, very different. The, the Kappa and the Iota you can get, well I got the, these off Amazon and I paid six pound per 100 grams. And the Lambda variation of the powder, it was double. So if you can get you know the same results with the cheaper powder, then I will be recommending these two variations. So anyway, let's get on with the experiment and let's see what happens. Okay, we've finished mixing up the concentrated forms of the sizes. Uh, next, we're gonna just dilute them with more water, and then we'll just let them fully dissolve for just a few hours. But straight away, you can see the difference in these different grades of carrageenan. The kappa and the iota, they're more like gelling agents, whereas the lambda is a, is a thickener. You can see straight away that the kappa it's starting to form kind of a more of a, I guess it looks more like jelly. It looks like a much more viscous kind of paste. Now the iota looks to be the thickest of all. It's definitely the more viscous, the more, I guess, bouncy. So it's definitely the thickest one. So that seems to be really forming like a, like a jelly. You can see it kind of like wobbling and now let's take a look at the, the Lambda. So you can see that it's much more shiny and it looks more like, well, yeah, it looks like it's basically just thickened it. This looks more like wallpaper paste, basically. If I was gonna choose any of these what looks like wallpaper paste, I would say that this. So you can see it's still got very much low viscosity in it. And you know, if you look at the viscosity, you can see that that is almost running out. You can see the iota doesn't really wanna 
on a flow. And the same goes with the kappa. Again, you can see I can almost tip that upside down. So hopefully you can see the difference in, in what these type of grades do. Now we're gonna put them into bigger containers. We're gonna add more water, let them dissolve, and then we will print with them and see what kind of marbles we can get. I've left the mixtures overnight and you can see how much has been created from each tablespoon. So the iota was really, really thick. It was almost like a solid jelly and I've had to add so much water to it to make it kind of a, you know, an okay consistency, what we're looking for. The kappa has, it kind of feels like it's kind of like just broken down and it's lost its is viscosity. The lambda as well, I've added a little bit more water. It would be really good if the iota actually worked because you can create so much more size from just the, the same amount of powder that you're using for all of these. Anyway, let's get printing. So we're gonna start off with the kappa. I'm just gonna be using some normal acrylic paint here. I've got some fluorescent orange and some processed blue, and I've just watered it down with a little bit of water so I can see straight away that with the kappa, when I'm splashing the ink onto the surface, it's kind of getting a fuzzy edge and it isn't really holding the cells of the colors too well. And when I'm trying to blend it as well, it just starts to look a little bit more fuzzy. So we take a print and it pretty much looks like what it looks like on the marble size. It was very fuzzy, the colors were kind of washed out a little bit, and the fluorescent orange hasn't really kind of stuck to the paper at all. Let's try the iota now. So this seems to be holding the cells, the colors, a little bit better, but it is dispersing a bit too much and it starts to get a little bit fuzzy around the edges. And it's when I'm mixing it around with a stick, it's kind of starting to get the same features that was on the kappa, but it is a little bit better to move around, but you can really see these fuzzy edges, which affect the contrast of the overall image. And if we take a print, it's certainly more vivid. The blue and the orange have come out much better, but I don't think it's actually adhered to the paper. You can see it's starting to run off. The orange is starting to run off. So it doesn't look like that come out too well. Now let's try the Lambda. And straight away, I can see the difference. You can see the cells of the colors. You've got very nice crisp edges. And when you move around the inks, it creates that very nice marble pattern. It doesn't start to go fuzzy. The colors don't mix. So just take a print here. I mean, you can, you know, it's night and day, the difference. Um, this is the exact same ink. You would have thought I was using maybe a more concentrated ink, but it's exactly the same. So let's conclude. I think the results speak for themselves. Very rarely have I done a test and it's been just such a night and day difference between um, the various materials that you can use in completing you know, a printmaking technique. I guess the good news is that if you did pay more for your marbling powder and you went and got the proper stuff, then you did the right thing because it looks like for carrageenan powder, for the different type of grades, there really is no alternative to the Lambda grade. And I think it's to do with the different types of grades and, and how they act. So Kappa and Iota, they are gelling agents. Lambda is, is a thickener. So I think that because uh, you're maybe making the water thicker, the, the ink is actually sitting on the surface. And therefore, when you lay the paper on it, you get a much, much more vivid print. And I mean, you know, it's, it's really nice. You get that really nice kind of marbled um, effect where the colors don't, don't bleed. They stay in their cells and when you move them around, they don't mix with other colors, which just creates that really nice marbled texture and you get very nice crisp edges. 
with with the gelling agents i think that i could see it when i printed with the iota and that the orange it just actually run off when i washed the paper it actually washed away with the with the marble in size so that maybe tells me that I'm not sure, maybe the, maybe the paint is actually kind of setting in, into, the, into the gel and then it's getting picked up when you lay the paper on it, but it's not actually making contact with the paper. Whereas the Lambda, the ink is sitting on top, so when you lay the paper on top, it is making contact and therefore it's absorbed into the paper. I could be wrong, that's kind of what I thought was happening. If you're getting these kind of results from your marbling, if you're getting fuzzy edges and if you're getting kind of like washed out colors, then chances are is that you're probably using the wrong grade of carrageenan powder. So hopefully that was of some use to you. I know that when I was buying this for the first time, I was thinking, you know, could I get away with the cheaper stuff? Uh, hopefully I've answered that question now. You can't get the real stuff, get the proper stuff. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask. Uh, but that is it for today. I will end it there.